Hi, I'm Pat Warren with Kurt Anderson, the delegate from Baltimore City, who's going to talk to us a little bit about what he sees as one of the, if not the most important issue for the city of Baltimore to come out of the General Assembly this session, and that's schools. Absolutely. Schools are always, and education is probably uh, on everybody's mind, everybody's top of everybody's list of priorities. We have to make sure that our children in Baltimore City have the same kind of education that, that I had growing up uh, so that they can have choices. They can go to college, they can go to trade school, uh, but they don't, you know, we don't want them you know, back on the streets dropping out, disinterested, uh, and involved in gangs or with drugs. Uh, having good schools that are heated well, that are air-conditioned well, uh, that are built to 21st century standards is the most important thing. These kids should have the same choice that you and I had growing up, and uh, some of them don't. Most of our kids do, but there's still a significant part of our school population that does not have that. Is there a bill? Is there some legislation? Is there something that we as citizens can do even at this late in the game in the General Assembly session of 2018? Four or five years ago, we passed phase one of the 21st century school plan. That meant building, uh, I think we building between 15 and 20 brand new schools in Baltimore City. What we're trying to do this year is complete phase one. That means another 15 to 20 schools. That information, that, uh, that funding is going to be part of a budget request uh, that will mean that Baltimore City is going to have to come up with some money to help uh, fund the, uh, you know, the debt service for it, as well as the state of Maryland. So if, if, if you do just what I'm doing right now, saying that education is the most important thing on the real list of priorities, and it's always on your lips, and that's what helps us the most. Thank you, Kurt. We will have more. Stay tuned to WJZ.